Yo, what is going on, y'all? It's your boy Young Twan. I'm back with another video. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make some beats like Getro or Dat Boy Getro or Beats by Getro. Uh, he's a YouTube producer. I got this requested a couple videos ago, and you know, I'm here to provide. So um, here's the tutorial. Make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe and comment. And uh, without further ado, let's get straight to it. So before I start, I just want to show you guys the final uh, sample, which sounds like this. So yeah, it sounds very simple, except from that uh, sound at the beginning, which is uh, pretty complex, uh, a lot of processing. So I'm gonna show you guys how I made it. So first I went into Omnisphere and I picked this I picked this Bell Balder. Uh, it's from some Omnisphere bank and I laid down these chords right here. I added some effects, I added an EQ to kind of clean up the sound and I have time and this is what it sounds like now. Then I opened up Omnisphere again and I picked this bubbly old vibes preset and I copied the same chords but uh, made them like longer uh, so it sounds like this. To that I added uh, some effects, I added an EQ, I turned off this half time in the end, and I added this reverb intensity from Arturia with the auto filter preset, and uh, this is what it sounds like now. So yeah, now the real sauce is in this Omnisphere sound. It's the Kites in the Clouds preset from Omnisphere. And uh, I pretty much copied and pasted the same, um, the same uh, MIDI. Um, but yeah, let me turn off the effects. And this is what it sounds like with no effects. And now with the effects, sounds a lot better. So I'm gonna go through the effects. So first I went in this uh, EQ to cut the lows out. I put, I added a half time with the uh, one eighth loop. And then I added a spin with the slow style preset from Clapgram. And I turned out the mix to like 25%. Next, I added an effect rack with the liquid vibe preset. This kind of like added like this kind of like modulation type of effect. And then I went into guitar rig. I can't really open it because it will just crash my computer. Um, but yeah, it was pretty cool. Then I added a Valhalla Vintage Verb with the drum air preset. And uh, yeah, this is what it sounds like now. So as always, I rendered each part out uh, to have like my own sample. And then I pitched it down by two and then rendered the whole thing out again but then this time pitched it up by one so in the end i just ended up uh, pitching it down by one semitone and then i added some final effects i added a i added a waves uh, cla 2 way compressor but before on the uh on the previous version i had some effects uh which sounded like this So yeah, without the effects, it sounds like this. And with the effects. So yeah, I added a uh, stereo one imager from Waves to kind of stereoize it a bit more. I cleaned up the sound with an EQ, added the liquid vibe preset again from Effect Rack, added a fruity chorus, uh, turned down the mix to like 20%. Added a primal tap with the Rhodes hard vibrato, a delayed tape 201 and a good hearse wow control. 
for some delay and some uh, detuned and um, yeah, pretty much rendered it and then pitched it down. I mean, pitched it up by one and yeah, this is the final sample. So yeah, now I'm gonna go into the FLP of the beat. So most of the drums will be coming from my drum kit, uh, the loaded drum kit, which will be available, link in the description for free. Uh, so you can go cop that, uh, it's for free. So I started with this. Then I went to the open hats and the snares. added this perk from the Cody kit um, at the start, I'm showing like this. Uh, I added uh, this other perk at the end to like mark the end of the eight bars and this hi-hat. Now the hi-hat is where you get a lot of the bounce, so I'm just solo that. I'm just show you guys the pattern. Uh, this is it. Finally, I added the 808 No Kizzy and just the pattern right here. So yeah, really hard. What uh, brings a lot of like this unique type of bounces really in the hi-hats. Uh, as you can see right here, the hi-hats are kind of like unique and you know. It almost like starts off as like some drill type of pattern, like really like slightly. So yeah, you know, I'm playing with the pitch uh, right here with a lot with the velocities, you know, turning it down and stuff just to add some more bounce. like right here this like uh, kind of like triplet note right here is like going down and then it like picks back up right here but the pitch is lowered like you know just a little sauce my the little my little ting on it you know and uh yeah here's the final beat this is what it sounds like Young I took off this 808, the first two bars of the 808, just to, you know, as always, you know, make it clear to the artist that this is the start of the verse.
guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you enjoyed the beat. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. As always, I'll leave a link to the loaded drum kit in the description. I just put up a poll on the YouTube where I asked you guys if you wanted a one-shot kit or a sample library. So let me know what you want next. I'll, you know, deliver what you guys want. And yeah, that's it for me today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.